What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate those of you that were hanging out, waiting for the stream to start. For those of you watching the replay, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you get those alerts when we do these and you can take part in the chat with us. So uh, we do have a very specific agenda for those of you watching the replay that want to get to the nitty-gritty about these two new releases from Sphinx Fragrances. Scroll to about the 10-minute mark because live I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to be here that wants to be here to catch that entire portion of the show. So First things first, XX Artisan from John Barbados. I've been meaning to wear this one. I've had it for a little while. Uh, wife is a huge fan. It is relatively redundant to teal. Teal is a little better. A little bit more musky and aquatic. That water lily really makes it aquatic teal. Whereas this is more citric, slightly fruity, a little bit more florals and greens to it. Um, smells closer to some of the other flankers with kind of the it's missing the watery nature and the musk of teal because teal is a flanker to this one specifically that's xx artisan teal this is xx artisan but this is really good you don't need both it's a taste thing for one or the other i slightly prefer teal but this still is good i'm gonna wear this again out the shower tonight Absolutely going to wear it again out the shower about five hours of longevity it's really after this i should reapply um, but I'll, you know, I'll have those on my hands, so it'll be fine. It's not like I won't have stuff radiating off of me, so it's all good in the hood. But that's what I'm rocking today, John Barbados XX Artisan. Let's see what everybody else is rocking with today. Scott, good to see you. Love Sphinx, especially Coconut Daiquiri. Yeah, there's not a bad release among them. That's the thing. That's why I put in the thumbnail that these measure up, because the last two... Um, Horchata de Vani and Coconut Daiquiri. That's going to be a hard set of releases to beat for them. So Creme de Pistache and Oceanic Symphony have a lot. I know a bunch of people have gotten their nose on these already. I'm just getting around to them. I have not looked at any notes. I have not tried any samples. I wanted to stay as blind as I could because I knew eventually uh, Muhammad was going to send these my way, which Sphinx did send these my way, but no bias towards any anything special. Like It doesn't matter. George, you, know, you could be my friend, and if if there's lackluster parts of your fragrance, I'm going to tell the audience there's lackluster parts of your fragrance. So, but I, I highly doubt it. There's never been a disappointment yet. The question is, do they measure up? Do they measure up? Because every set of releases has gotten better than the first. Because I did the initial launch, the first six. I did the first video for the brand. I was honored that he asked me to do that. The next follow-up with the next three was a better launch than the first. And then the set of two, Coconut Daiquiri and... Uh, Horchata de Vani was better than the previous two launches. So that's what I'm saying. Like he steps the bar up every time. So I personally have high expectations at this point because he continues to, you know, set the bar a little bit higher every set of releases. So they got a lot to live up to. Frank's wearing 212 VIP black. Hope your home was no, definitely was not. We we had no issues. Fragrance attorneys in the house wearing light blue O oh, intense. You can't go wrong there. Good to see. Watch senses in the house. Smelling like blue de Chanel. In the day woods and spices black anibis is so far my favorite so that was my favorite then sphinx elixir became my favorite and black anibis became my second favorite wow factor horchata de vani and coconut daiquiri is right so like that's the top four for me is black anibis and sphinx elixir is my top two and then horchata de vani and coconut daiquiri you can put it three or four however you want that's my top four easily Wood of Gods is really good, too. Climatics in the house. What's going on? La Chata de Cafe by Day 3 Fragrances. You said it backwards, but I know what you meant. Good to see you, Mike. Green Irish Tweed. Damn, DJ. Hitting it with a classic. Why EDT the old formula, the better formula, in my opinion? Because if you have the Eau de Parfum and you get the new formula, it'd be like, damn, this is way too redundant. Because the, e the new version of the EDT is way closer to the sweetness of the Eau de Parfum. Whereas the EDT had loads of aldehydes, loads more of aldehydes, which I love. So, yeah, I'm with you. The old formula is better. Joel, good to see you. Imaginary authors yesterday, Hayes, never tried it. Explorer for Joel. Kevin, good to see you. Kadlaz Shiaka, ooh, smelling like Reflection Man. Hey, folks, wearing Luna Rosa Sport, smelling like Woody Lamal. Would you consider Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint a safe blind buy? Mm, not exactly a safe blind buy. In terms of the scent, 
in layman's terms. So creamy, uh, creamy lemon, uh, creamy almond lemon combo with a dense woody tone, some aromatics. It's basically the way I would describe it. We're in Phantom today. Have a great day. You have a great day as well. Creed Rolfa, beautiful citrus green. That's a really good fragrance from them. On average, Joe's in the house. Shout outs to Muhammad from Sphinx. Sloan Ravers from Ex Nihilo is his scent of the day. I love their bottle presentation. I haven't tried any fragrances from them, uh, but I love the way their bottle presentation looks with their distinctive cap. Very aesthetically pleasing to me personally. Simplistic, but simplistic done right. Simplistic yet not unique, but distinctive. Simplistic yet distinctive. That's what I'll say. Because it, it clearly, it looks like, like I don't think of any other brand other than them when I see their bottles. One million lucky. Replica when the rain stops. Never tried that one. Dominique, good to see you. Thank God it's Friday. Why sell why the new Eau de Parfum Intense? I put that in and out my cart a couple of times. I almost bought it in the last two purchases from Fragrance Buy. Maybe the next go around. I ended up pulling it out for other things because Fragrance Buy has it in stock now. Been debating on grabbing a 60 ml. Oh, Paris Corner Vertex. I saw that post. So it's supposed to be Apex because I didn't read the post, but I, I glanced like it loaded my feed and your your feed, your post was at the top of the feed and then it reloaded everything. So I only got a glimpse. And the first thing I thought when I saw the bottle was vetiver. Vetiver parfum cologne, but apparently it's Apex. So that I'll be interested to check that one out, actually. Josh is in the house. What's going on? Hades Venom by Genre Parfum. Genre Parfum is such a great house. Devin does great work. Enrique, good to see you. Commodities Bergamot. Evening Mystique, sir. You might be the best smelling gentleman here today. I'm just going to throw it out there. There's no bias whatsoever in that. That's a factual statement. I don't care what anybody says. But, Ray, I appreciate you, man. I hope you're enjoying it. The only Sphinx I haven't liked was Oceanic Symphony. It wasn't bad, just the weakest of the lineup. Okay, so you're one of those guys. Did you really like how it smelled, but it only gave you like four or five hours, so it's trash? <laughs> I have to ask because that that cracks me up. Now, look, if you didn't, if it was just mediocre smell, man, then it is what it is. I totally get that. But scent's got to be number one, man. You got to love the smell first. You always spray more. You can always spray more. Castopia by Tiziana Terenzi. Never tried that one. Jason, good to see you. We're in Sidre Boisset. One of the greatest of all time, in my opinion. Dino's in the house. So see, we're in Lamborghini Millennials Dynamico. It smells very much like First Instinct together. Montrese is in the house. What's going on, big dog? Let's see. Pistache is nice, though. That's some, I expect them both to smell pretty good, you know? I would think the, the more interesting one's definitely going to be creme de pistache. I mean, it's a pistachio fragrance. Like, the picture is mint ice cream with pistachio so i'm assuming it's going to be very interesting I, I expect to like it quite a bit scott good to see you let's see still got one more minute let me catch up a little more so glad you reviewed the sphinx i've got four of them so far i've gotten more compliments from these than any other fragrance there's a lot of uniqueness in in the from the brand as a whole in the entire range uh, a lot of good stuff a lot of good stuff bless baraka it's like creamy angel share Funny you say angel share. Justin, I think that's the scent of the day today. Had to go with Le Bowl of Parfum again. I wore that last week to the beach. Excellent choice. So we're about to jump into this. Cheers, Frag Frat. And there we go. Paco Rabanne, one million lucky. There's another gentleman that told me he was wearing that today in the scent of the day post. So that seems to be popular today. One million lucky. People are starting to itch for those uh, cooler weather fragrances at this point. Let me scroll down a little bit. Sounds quite intriguing. John Carlo, good to see you. Wearing nothing. Victim of Florida summer head cold. Heidi just got over being sick, too. Cannot smell anything. She's been able to smell, though. Climatic was wearing Oh in Cedre. I need to revisit that one. All those Issy flankers I've gotten, I haven't been wearing them. I wore wooden wood recently, and of course I've worn vetiver a few times. But I still have a bunch of them, like the uh, the fusion fragrances. I haven't wore those. Uh, Owen Cedre, that's one that I need to I need to revisit. Like they, I bought some really good Issy fragrances in the last couple of months. I just haven't been spending much time with them. It's really good. Ethan Hawass, Rasasi Hawass for Scott. Scott, you smell great, sir. Uh, all 
right, Dilly's in the house. What's going on? Rock Boy T, love the name Ani X. I still haven't tried it yet. I have high hopes though, because Ani's phenomenal. Ani is one of the best. Uh oh, Lewis is wearing Sidrat Boise just like Jason is. Excellent choice. New experience, do Mancera's tester. Yes, they come with caps. I got a bunch of Mancera testers. Half my Mancera's are testers. More than half my Montals are testers. The difference with Montal is the little collar stay pin on full presentations. It literally goes under the atomizer head and stops it from spraying. The testers, it goes into the head and it's just for show. And you could spray it at any time. It's all it's always on. But with Mancera, it's the cap. So that's I had to talk about Montal too because it's something distinctive, but you still have the look with their testers. But technically, same brand, subsidiary brands, sister brands to one another. Um, but yeah, you're good. You're good. You'll get a shit box. They used to come in the regular boxes with a tester sticker real big on the side. Some of them still do, but the last few I got were just plain white little boxes that had you know the name of the fragrance written in pen on it, like Aqua Wood, for example. You know. So, guys, I think we're going to have to go ahead and jump into this. I see you, Spencer. Brioni EDP Intense, damn sexy as fuck. Reminds me of Vanilla Oud, but more fruity and sweet. This thing lasts 11 hours on me easy. Damn, that's impressive. LeBeau for Manny. So, we're going to use this as a good stopping point. Literally, I'm going to get right here. That is the last comment currently. I'm not a big blue scent lover. Okay, so it's blue. So, we're going to start with that then. That's I, Well... I don't know which one we're starting with. I'm just grabbing this one and whatever this one is. So I've complained to Muhammad a few times about this. I don't like these boxes because you got two options. You can go from the top. And if you go from the top, you have to deal with this crap, to take, which is supposed to center everything. See all this stuff falling apart? Or you can go from the bottom and just slide it out. But it's a pain in the ass to do that, too. So I hate the boxes. I don't like the box. I mean, I don't need them, but for anybody that wants to keep them in their boxes, it's it's garbage. And Muhammad's better than that, you know, but I love his presentations. Green glass has this white ceramic look. Oh, I forgot. I got to adjust my focus. My apologies, guys. So that white ceramic look, extra to parfum with the gold accents. Plates are clean. I got to say, in this pyramid style cap, big fan of the look of this. Readjust the focus, and we're back on me. So let's see what we're working with here. Again, he had sent me a sample of this with the last two releases because it was unreleased. He wanted my opinion. And I told him, I said, I know you're going to send me the bottle at some point. So I'm just going to wait. I'd rather do what we're doing right now. Because he asked me last night, he's like, So what'd you think? I said, We'll find out tomorrow. So, because I really enjoy going through everything with their fragrances. Because I always, like I said before, I always have such high expectations and high hopes for his fragrances because he just delivers every time he delivers. So, we'll see. We'll see what we're working with here. This is a creme de pistache, by the way. This is not Oceanic Symphony. Oceanic Symphony is the black bottle. So, this is creme de pistache. I expect minty, creamy, nutty. That's what I expect based on the picture of pistachio ice cream. Is that cinnamon? Is that a little bit of cinnamon? Like the same cinnamon that's in uh, Horchata de Vanille? This smells like a dessert for sure. Very creamy. So he's, he's killing it with these gourmand dessert fragrances. Because Horchata de Vanille, I mean, I know that's a drink, but... That smells delicious, too. It's milky, creamy with cinnamon sticks. This smells like pistachio ice cream. It really does, because Heidi likes pistachio ice cream. I don't, but I know what it smells like. I know what it tastes like, because sometimes you're like, screw it. That's the ice cream we got. I want a snack. But Something a little spicy, dry, creamy, minty. There's something... The creaminess has to be pistachio, obviously. Pistachio typically comes across creamy. It's really good, but it's not something that I would reach for every day. This is super situational type of scent profile for me. I don't think it's an everyday fragrance. Very situational. I would think situations for something like this, cooler weather, 
evenings out, casual, casual date, you know, going out, having some fun. Like yesterday, we went on a kind of a yogurt date, you know, just midday random. Let's go do something. Went right around, ended up stopping at Sweet Frog, made some yogurt, got some toppings and stuff and just chatted, sat at one of the tables, just a little midday kind of thing. Something like that. That's what this screams. Literally yesterday's situation is ideal for this. We went and had yogurt at Sweet Frog. For those of you wondering, I had half chocolate, half peanut butter with snow. It was cheat day yesterday with snow caps, Reese's peanut butter chips, and Andy's mint chips on the other side. And then she had vanilla and cheesecake with cheesecake bites in it. That was what we both had. And I had way too much. <laughs> my eyes were bigger than my stomach in that situation because it was cheat day. This is fantastic. But it's very situational. That's the downside to it is it's so situational. So let's go ahead and pull up the screen share. Let's go shop. All fragrances. Creme de pistache. 40 bucks for the 10 ml. 140 for the, the 100 ml. But TLTG 15 will save you 15%. No, it is not an affiliate code. It is not an affiliate link. It's just there for your convenience as supporters of this channel. So let's see. Creme de pistache is what you... Need to smell good and feel sexy. Really, I don't think sexy when I smell this, but hey. When you wear our creme de pistache, you will be transported into an indulgent world of the yummiest, nuttiest, most mouth-watering fragrance you've ever experienced. It's like a cocktail on your skin that you won't want to wash off. Creme de pistache begins with a decadent nuttiness of hazelnut. Okay. Okay, before the beautiful pistachio burst onto the scene, blended with rum, for an adult indulgent aroma combination. Maybe that's that warm spiciness that I'm getting. It doesn't smell super boozy or anything. There's a warmth to it, though, so that kind of makes sense. Let's see. In the heart of the fragrance, delicate floral notes emerge, including jasmine, white peony, adding to the fragrance's sensual blend. Finally, a base of luxurious woods adds a provocative sensual element that leaves a sweet impression. One of the benefits of this fragrance, long lasting, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the notes. Roasted pistachio, Madagascar vanilla, gelato, milk, whipped cream, roasted almonds. So there's all that creaminess. Mid notes of rice, Sicilian lemon, fruits, and cherry. Base of amber, white musk, rum, and cinnamon. So there is cinnamon because I smelled cinnamon in the top. Because I was waiting to see it. Like, what the hell was that cinnamon spice I was getting? Well, thank God. I'm not crazy. There is cinnamon in this fragrance. There's a lot going on here. It smells more simplistic than this note deck breakdown leads you to believe, but... All of that creaminess is justified with these top notes for sure. The cinnamon stands out. The amber rum combo is what's warming this fragrance, though it doesn't smell boozy. And it's very, like I said, it's very creamy and delicious and delectable. But again, super situational. This is totally not something I would wear all the time. I have a feeling Heidi might want to steal this one because she really, really loves the um, Strawberry Kiss. Because that he's been putting out these just delicious dessert gourmand fragrances. That smells like a strawberry muffin, and then or like a milkshake or something like that. Like because it's real creamy, um, and then horchata de vani smells like the that horchata drink, milky and cinnamon, you know. And then now we have pistachio ice cream, basically. So he's making these dessert fragrances, and they're they're very believable and photorealistic, very authentic smell. But not my favorite, not my favorite. I can appreciate it. I absolutely appreciate the authenticity of the smell. It really does remind me of pistachio ice cream. But it's not something I'm going to reach for all the time. So just, just off the top here, it's a 7 out of 10 very good because I do appreciate it. It's very arti artistic. It's high quality. It does smell delicious. But it's super situational for me because I'm not a real big gourmand guy. This is as gourmand as it gets. It's a delicious dessert. If you like delicious desserts, this might be a 10 out of 10 fragrance for you. It's just for my particular taste. This is going to be more for my wife than it will be for me. She likes gourmands way more than I do. So let's get caught up on the chat real quick, and then we'll dive into what is clearly Oceanic Symphony next. This is the one I expect to really suit my taste. It's an aquatic, you know. So let's see who's got what and where, when and why. Where do we leave off? There's Spencer's comment. 
LOL. Realizing I'm not much of a blue fan. Longevity was on point nine plus hours easy. Okay, so it does it does last then for you. Wearing CK all. That's a great one. I've been seeing it at the rack stores too. Well, getting in the part of summer where you can wear a summer fragrance during the day and a fall fragrance at night. You that's you damn right. You damn right. We're getting to that point. It's we're getting close to that transition. My daughter has oceanic and it's her her least favorite too. Teach their own. Thanks for your help. Oceanic Symphony, good stuff. And not okay, so this is where I left off. Just blind bought oud lemon mint. Fingers crossed. Send of the day, Mont Blanc Explorer. I hope you enjoy it. Juju's in the house. Good to see you, Juju. I was so jealous of that concert y'all went to. I know you saw me hearten your stories. I would have loved to see uh, Offspring and Sum 41 and everything. Y'all are like, you swear y'all come from the exact generation as me. You and jo Joey's taste in music. <laughs> it's exactly what high school music was for me. That was high school for me. Y'all been hitting Blink-182, all this stuff. <laughs> super jealous. Super jealous. I hope y'all have fun. That's a color scheme you never see. Very solid. Tell us about the new Argos. I can't. I don't have it. I've never smelled it. I'm not looking at the notes until I get them and blind sniff them. Uh, so, no, I cannot tell you about that. Strong with you, Freeze. That's a goodie. Sean with $5. Super chat. Late but here. Center of the day. Blacker sales by for the scent of it. Aquatic with contrasting incense. Ooh, that sounds good. Hmm, smoky aquatic. Might need you to tell me more about that one privately. I might need to check that one out. That that alone sounds really very much my taste. Creme de pistache is crack. Oceanic siphoning was so bl well blended, I felt like it was gonna I was gonna be seasick. So very photorealistic. Okay, I got you. Creme de moustache. Mm, yes. I do that when I have a mustache. But Got to leave for work. See you guys on the next one. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you, Joel. Hope you have a great evening at work, my man. Yeah, speaking of, we got half the likes to views. I mean, I expect, as per usual, another niche topic. I've been doing a lot. Like yesterday, we had a huge. We, we peaked at right over 200 people because it was keeping 10 fragrances for life. It's a very broad topic, whereas these niche topics always have an intimate crowd, and I always expect that, and I appreciate you guys, but we can do better with the likes. Come on now. Come on now. I love pistachio ice cream. Don't know if I want to smell like it, but that's what I'm saying. It's so situational for me. That's something more for my wife to wear, I think. I've got mad compliments from Horchata de Vini. Now that... That's a gourmand that speaks to me even more. That was like a 9.5, I think I gave it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's wow. It's a holy shit fragrance. Vintage Gap Grass. Lawless, I would kill for a bottle of OG Gap Grass. Apparently, that's something I missed out on. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into Oceanic Symphony. This is the one of the two that I've been looking forward to because, I mean, Oceanic Symphony, doesn't that just sound like something I would like? So here we go. Let me adjust the focus. So black glass, that white ceramic look. It's not actually ceramic, but it has a white ceramic tile look. The gold print. Again, the pyramid stack style cap. I do love the caps that he uses when scent has history. Adjust that back. All right, let's... uh. See what we're working with here. Okay. Salt water. Very much. Oh, yeah. Super aquatic. Super, super aquatic. Salty, vibrant, musky. Sharp lemon. Super sharp. Sharp, sharp lemon, but not a synthetic smell because he uses a lot of natural ingredients. Whew, that lemon's good. Damn it, this is the one I knew it would be. Oh, it's, it's a warm yet fresh and sharp astringent lemon, like fresh cut. Fresh, just sliced right through in that that citrus smell just hits you. Make, it's making my mouth water because it's so sharp. Whew, shit, that's one of the better lemon top notes I've ever smelled. 
Yeah, the opening's banging. Man, this is good. Wow. All right. Let's look at these notes. That that lemon is sharp. It's salty and aquatic. I'm digging this one a lot. All right. Let's go back. So this caught my eye. Uh, my last name rhymes with my first name. It's Ross Carlos, not Carlos. And somewhere down the line in the gene pool, I'm sure there's some Hispanic heritage, but I am Caucasian. It is Carlos, not Carlos. Oceanic Symphony. So 150 bucks, 30 ml, 30 bucks for the 10 ml, but 150 bucks for the 100 ml. Again, that 15% code could go a long way for you. Indulge yourself with a sensual journey to an island paradise with our luxurious summer fragrance, Oceanic Symphony. Inspired by the crystal clear aqua shores of a tropical beach, our perfume is a symphony of the freshest citrus notes blended with island musky accents that will transport the senses to an exotic location. That's exactly what I get to sharp lemon and musk and salt water. That's like that's what this top is. Experience an exquisite blend of Sicilian orange fused with juicy bergamot to create an enchanted sensation that gently echoes every movement. I find it hard to believe there's no lemon here. It smells like lemon. The blend of Mandarin creates a wave of freshness and the final musky touch unleashes the sense of exotic and sensual. Meticulously crafted by a master perfumer, this captivating scent captures the essence of summer and the sea. Composed from all natural essences, our perfume is safe for your skin Environmentally conscious, lost light. Blah, 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 blah. Not worried about all that. I want to see some notes. I want to see some notes. Now, okay, there is lemon. Thank God. Because I was about to say, there's no way there's not lemon. They created a lemon accord, but bergamot, mandarin, orange, and lemon, sea salt, and musk, ambergris. So, what I smell at the top is probably going to be what it smells the whole way through because I literally smell sharp lemon, salt water. And musk, and that is what this note breakdown is. It's a bunch of citrus, sea salt, and then musk and ambergris, which ambergris is musky. So it's two different types of muskiness, basically. The ambergris with, with the sea salt is what's giving this aquatic marine feel. That Because ambergris can come across aquatic, it can come across salty, it can come across musky. It all depends on what synthetic ambergris was used here, where it was sourced, what, perf what flavor house he got the oil from, because I'm not sure. But... If this is able to be long lasting, like I, so that's definitely the synthetic ambergris that's going to give it this kind of performance because you're not going to have naturals. It's literally classified as a citrus. If this was completely natural, there'd be no longevity. With this note breakdown, there's no body to it. If that was real ambergris, there's no. I mean, I don't know. Real ambergris might still perform some good staying power, but that top and heart. That's not that's not powerhouse oils right there. This ambergris is going to give it that longevity and that push, really. I mean, the top is so bright from the citrus, but they're very volatile. I believe this citrus to be natural. The only thing I would question is probably that ambergris is there's no doubt in my mind it's not natural ambergris. So that's probably the only synthetic, possibly whatever this must note is, but that's the def definitive, that's a synthetic molecule because I believe they don't use real ambergris pretty much across all the perfumery at this point. I could be wrong, but I, I know it's minimal, if at all, at this point. And that's what would give it all this performance. Because if that was, you know, just the natural citruses and stuff like that, it's not really going to last. This is phenomenal. It reminds me of a bunch of fragrances, though but like an ultimate form. Like, I'm trying, there's something very specific it reminds me of, and I can't pinpoint it. Not a Diorum cologne or anything like that. Like almost like niche Mercedes-Benz cologne, because that's got orange and it's not just lemon. I'm trying to pinpoint there's a summer fragrance that reminds me of very specifically. There's a little bit of Boss Bottle Pacific going here with that uh, 
the citron. That's what it is. It smells very like citron. That's real sharp. Citron's really sharp lemon smell. That's what's good. That's what it comes across as to me. This is awesome. It reminds me of something though. I just can't pinpoint what it is. It's going to hit me later. I'll try to remember because I'm aware of this in the next couple of days. This is too good to not wear. I'm absolutely wearing Faces of Francis tomorrow. It's not getting bumped. I've been waiting all week to wear that. It got bumped a couple of days. I'm not bumping it again. I'm wearing this tomorrow. But Sunday, I might be pulling this out. Oceanic Symphony is definitely my jam. This is some of the sharpest, most photorealistic, salty lemon smell I think I've ever had. This is so invigorating and lively. It's bright. It's it's full of energy. 8.5 out of 10. Great. Not quite outstanding. It doesn't have the wow factor of a horchata de vanille and coconut daiquiri. Those have the wow factor. This is a half a point back because it's a little bit more of a generic scent profile. I mean, even though coconut daiquiri very much resembles Virgin Island water, it's more on the florals. Like it's got its own little twist to kind of give it its uniqueness. That's that's definitely of the two summer releases, coconut daiquiri and this. Coconut daiquiri is a little bit better, but this is still, I mean, 8.5 out of 10. That's nothing to shake a stick at, right? Now, this is all just my opinion, but man, that is a fantastic sharp lemon. I don't think it's going to change much, but what I smell in the opening, I would love for it to stay that way as long as possible. So I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. Let's see where I left off at. What's going on, Randy? We're in St. Julep. I'll have to catch up. Sounds like a Kali pistachio gelato. Might be. I don't know. I never tried it. Virtus vanilla oud. You smell incredible, sir. Anyone tried Ajmal Gray? I haven't. It's a clone of Armand Montebacco from Armand Jane. I don't know. Reminds me of Profundo. We had a decent five to six hours. I can see the tie-in, but there's way more citrus here than in Profondo. Profondo's got that orange note. This is a lot of lemon and bergamot. It's very sharp. Ooh, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, it reminds me kind of like Light Blue Forever and Italian Love. Not the exact same, but the way the citrus is, because it, it doesn't, like it, with Italian Love, I don't get the patchouli, obviously, but the opening, the way that lemon comes across, a little bit of Boss Bottle Pacific, like it reminds me of the genre as a whole. It's really good, though. Really good. Damn, it's good. I like it. Eric's in the house wearing Profumo. Had two samples of Oceanic Symphony. It was just a good scent. Nothing special. Good everyday scent in the heat. That's what I'm saying. For what it is, it's, it's very similar to just an entire genre of fragrances. But I think... It's the authenticity of the lemon for me that makes it a cut above most of what I'm thinking it's similar to. I like it quite a bit, quite a bit. And if it's got some pretty good longevity on skin, then hell yeah. Sent you the link. Limited run 30 ml only if you want descriptors without notes. Give my allergies a few days to adjust <laughs> in the schizo weather. Wasn't a fan of Oceanic Symphony either. However, I'm not a fan of ambergris. Well, that's... I'm sure that's going to be the dominance of the dry down, too. That's probably all of this aquatic note that I'm getting is the ambergris. I knew you would love Ocean. Yeah, that's definitely my style. Definitely my style, especially being out here. Never heard of it. I didn't choose to pronounce my name the way it's pronounced. That's just the way my name is pronounced. <laughs> I didn't choose that. Happy Labor Day weekend, Latafa. It's actually French. That's the, the origin of Carlos. It's more of a French tie than a Hispanic tie. So let's see. Happy Labor Day wearing Hayati. Fantastic, Chief. You put it on 645 and it's still pumping eight hours later. Invictus Twist. I'm trying Sphinx fragrances, but ended up not for reasons of my own, but still interested. Totally understand. And it smells good in the chat. Tommy Bahama Seascape. That's the new one. 
trying to figure out what Oceanic Symphony reminded me. I've got it as a sample with Neve's fragrance. Ambergris equals whale poo. <laughs> thought it was vomit. Is it poo? thought it was vomit. Smells nothing like Profondo. I don't think. No, no, not nothing like. If it was more orange dominant, then yeah. Because the, the heart of it's very similar. But it could just be on me that I'm getting so much lemon. But let's say you get more of the orange, then yeah, it's probably very much like Profondo. Higher quality, though. Definitely higher quality than Profondo. It's very salty. It's very, very marine. I, lo I love that about it. Ooh, Mega Mare. That's another one it reminds me of. The musky, uh, salty tone. It reminds me of Mega Mare. That's what I couldn't pinpoint what the hell it is. Because of this right here. A Chaos in the Ocean. That's, that's a way cheaper smelling take on this. They're similar. They're similar. That's you, This definitely smells more expensive than that. <laughs> That's really good, but comparatively, this smells way better. But they're in the same vein, for sure. There's a lot of similar nuance to it. I'm appearing, loving it for the mint. LOL, Ambergris, I dislike whale poop. Every synthetic, even synthetic, it's all I can think about. Mm, I'm a little jealous, but I can wait. I'm not in a rush to try it. I got Boss Bottle Elixir coming. I blame Sean for that, by the way. Sean Connolly that I keep talking to, guys. He sent me a link to it, so I bought, I bought a 15 mil. He's like, oh, it's in the States. I'm like, damn it. I just spent $350. So I bought a 50 mil of Boss Bottle Elixir. I couldn't help myself, so I got that. That'll be in next week. So I'm, pr I'm pretty excited to try that one. I have higher hopes for that than the Parfum. Just dropped $500 on fragrance by LOL, but I got 15 bottles. Yet you didn't use my affiliate link unless you did it during this live stream because I literally just looked at my affiliate page before this live stream. So I know you didn't do it to help this channel. I hope you helped somebody out and use somebody's link since you were going to use it anyway. <laughs> or maybe you can say, no, no, I definitely use your link and I'll eat those words and apologize. But either way, I hope you enjoy it because that's a ridiculous haul. 15 fragrances. My God, that's massive. Late to the party. What have I missed? Wearing Manhattan so good. Cross my feet up. Y'all slap that like button. I appreciate the $5 super chat, Jared. Otherwise, I'll take a shot on it. I'll respoil myself too much. I do it all the time. So that's when Sean sent me the link for Boss Bottle Elixir. I'm like, damn it. I just spent hundreds of dollars again with fragrances. Now you. I looked at it. I was like, yeah, let me buy it. Damn it. So that's why I bought a 50 ml. 50 ml is going to be plenty. Send of the day. Tommy Bahama St. Bart, you smell great, Adolfo. Channel membership sponsor, Spencer. <laughs> Who's tried the coconut daiquiri? A bunch of people in the chat, I'm sure. Like I said, it's kind of like Virgin Island water, but the, the florals, like the hibiscus, comes out a bit more. And I, I really like that. But it's very juicy citrus at the top. It's not as sweet. It's still sweet, but it's not as sweet. And there's way more citrus than it is just like lime and coconut, like virgin island water. It's almost like a more complex twist in some ways. Because it's similar, but it's it's better. I do think it's better. It's very juicy and watery. Much more juicy and watery. It's not as creamy and sweet. And not near as boozy. It's really good. Great summertime. Probably, yeah, I'm sure everybody's going to weigh in. Yeah, definitely not sunscreen. Yeah, I heard from a few of my subs, coconut daiquiri is good, but most said it just sits on the shelves. Nothing I haven't personally tried. Maybe why I didn't like it as much. Nothing special. Yeah, it's not special. It, it's talking about Oceanic Symphony, by the way, guys. Yeah, it's not, it's not super unique. It's not something, it's not a scent profile I've never come across. Like there's a bunch of things that came to mind. It just smells like a really good version of those. Again, a good everyday scent, just too similar for me. Yeah, it makes sense. I totally understand that. Oceanic destroys Profondo. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is better than Profondo. And I really like Profondo. You smelled Overture Woman. Yes. EQ is actually who sent me a decant of it. That You want to talk about crazy boozy? Oh, man. That is an apple wine. It's Or it might be brandy. Apple brandy is what it is, I think. Crazy strong and boozy. It's not feminine at all. When I let Heidi smell it, she was like, that's a woman's fragrance? It's the women's version. 
Yeah, it's crazy strong. I have a lipstick atomizer that he sent me. It's got like 10, eight or eight or ten ml in it. Technically, is any poop or vomit? It's a result of any digestion of sperm. Oh, lovely, lovely. It's whale vomit. That's what I thought. Sampling why EDP today. I I enjoy the EDT. I'd like to try the black bottle. Yes. So in my opinion, it's the best. It's the Le Parfum. It is superior pretty much in every way. You still get the aldehydes of the original, less sweetness of the EDP. You get performance that falls in between the two. It's not obnoxiously strong like the EDP. Um, it still has a good bit of freshness while still being uh, relatively robust. It's just... It's the ultimate version. I don't know if they'll be able to top it. Even if they make an elixir, I don't, I don't think it'll be better than the Parfum. In my opinion, absolutely. Strong with you, absolutely. It's got the best of all of the versions of the line, minus the leather and oud, because those have leather. Those two have leather, but picture intensely. Dial the sweetness down a little bit and add some rum, and you have strong with you, absolutely. Smoother than Mega Mare. Yeah, this is way smoother than Mega Mare. Well, the clone. I don't know about Mega Mare, but it's smoother than a Chaos in the Ocean. Way smoother. Way smoother. Uh, six to eight hours of longevity. Depends. Depends. It varies somewhere in that range, though. Oolong tea. What's the link to what? Link to what? To Sphinx, there's one in the description. It's just sphinxfragrances.com, and then the code's right there if you want to use it. It's TLTG15. It's not an affiliate code or anything like that. It's just there for you guys in case you want to do anything, just like my Happy Lane code, TLTG20. It's 20% off for you guys. It, I don't get any kickbacks or anything. It's just for you guys, you know. Um, but are you talking about something different, though? So I'm not sure. You don't mind clarifying for me, Dilly? How similar do you find Club Black? 9 p.m., not, not all that much. Gentlemen, not all that much. Club Black is closer to something like um, This Is Him from Zadig and Voltaire. Think vanilla, smoke, and amber, incense and amber. Anything that's vanilla, smoky vanilla and amber is typically going to be in the same family as Club Black. Not those, not gentlemen and 9 p.m. Even from the U.K., today's scent was late. Excellent, excellent choice. New sealed, 78% late and came in today from the office. Any thoughts on versus the 82% that I'll talk? What are you talking about, 78% and 82%? I have no idea what you're talking about. No clue. Can you can you explain a little further? <laughs> Having like Detroit Noir, but can't stand the bottle and the atomizer. But yeah, I don't. what do you mean 78% versus 82%? Oh, well, damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it doesn't cost you anything, and I would have made a small commission. You know, <laughs> it would have it helped me out for all the fragrances I buy. It's all good. You're, you're a regular on the channel. I'm just giving you a hard time. It's like, well, damn, you could have used my link. Um, yeah, anytime, anytime you want to, you can always just click my link tree, and it's in the featured links at the very top of my link tree. Um, like if you look in the description right under join the channel and the evening mystique links, there's a, for all discounts and social media, big old section that's highlighted that has my link tree. And then my link tree is all my affiliate links, my different channels, my other social media outlets, my email channel donations is all that stuff. The Facebook group, everything's in that link tree. And, uh, and I have the very top section. I have featured, I forgot exactly what I, how I labeled it. I click the link tree. What is it? Featured offers. There you go. So yeah, it's the it's the third link. So you can purchase Evening Mystique, Z Creator Samples, then you got that, and then StreamYard. That's all the, the featured offers. And then you got the different channels, fitness and apparel, Spotify playlists, all the good stuff, and then fragrance links. And then you got donate via PayPal, buy me a coffee, and then the Facebook group. So that's that is my link tree. Yep. So yeah, that's always the easiest way to do it. My link tree is in the bio of both Facebook pages, both Instagram pages. The channel page for this, the actual main page, it's in it's on the banner where the links go. 
and then it's in the description towards the top of the description in every single video. Yep. Try to have it prevalent for everyone, you know, because that's the easiest way to access everything. It's literally I titled it everything TLTG reviews. It's literally everything relating to me is in that link tree. I pay for the pro version, so I have all the customization and all that good stuff. This live right now got me driving a football game in Ohio. I think I want Tiziana Terenzi. So I'm not familiar with any of them, unfortunately. I mean, I've smelled Orion before, but I mean, it smells kind of like Aventus. But outside of that, I really don't have any experience. I like Latent Exclusive much more than OG. What do you think of Hachivat? Hachivat's phenomenal if you like Oak Moss. So you'll hear, you'll hear comparisons to Aventus, and in the opening, yeah, they're similar. But as they dry, it's all about oak moss with Hachibot. They 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 start like this and then whoosh, they do that. It's a very earthy, green and spicy smell as it dries down. A little smoky, but it's more earthy, green and spicy. Very classy, masculine, dresses up really well. Even better than Aventus, in my opinion. I think Aventus is more casual, much more casual than Hachibot. And it's a crazy performer, crazy strong. Blue De Chanel EDP just got vanilla oud, 100 ml, Nishan A, 50 ml, Nishan A, what? 220 before tax. Thinking about getting Jasada Ambassador Intense. I'm pretty excited for my bottle to come in. It's supposed to be coming in on the 5th, my order from Fragrance Buy. Yeah, we're in the chop it up portion. Options for today's gig. I love when you do this. 80 degrees patio by the beach. Here we go. Lome Le Parfum Profondo H24. L1212 Blanc, the Eau de Toilette. So that's the one to beat. Aqua Cinziale Blue and Milestone. L1212 Blanc. Patio by the beach. So you got fresh grapefruit, white florals, soft, supple leather. That is a semi casual scent profile. It exemplifies everything that I think when I think of Lacoste is in that bottle of fragrance. I think the the situation you gave me, I think, hands down, the most ideal choice. What I would grab out of these choices is L1212 Blanc EDT. Yes. It's got a little bit of elegance and class with a lot of freshness. It's not too serious and it's not too soft. That's what I would go with, my man. Came in a little pre. What was the full name? of? Oh, so Oceanic Symphony. It's potent, too. That's all I'm smelling. It's extremely salty and musky. The lemon was super sharp. The citrus at the top, super sharp. So you got to keep that in mind. It can be mistaken to synthetic because it's so sharp. But that was kind of my the way I described the chaos in the ocean. I reviewed that recently. Because I was like, what the hell is this reminding me of? It's on the tip of my tongue. Mega Mare. Smells like Mega Mare. Which, that's a clone of Mega Mare right there. This isn't exact, but it's pretty damn similar. It very much reminds me of it. Very much. More aquatic. Versus Profondo. Apple Brandy on the Rocks is on sale at Joma right now. Yeah, they have a bunch of places doing their uh, Labor Day weekend sale. Profondo for the win, according to Jonathan. Honestly, ready for the next Sphinx release already. It's a damn good house. I agree. I totally agree. Every couple of months, he's got new ones cooked up. Like, I'm sure he's already got the next set of releases ready to go. It's just a timing thing for release. But I still think the best fragrance for men from the house is the Elixir. It's just, it's mysterious. It's rich. It's warm. It's not good for the summer. I think if you want that type of intrigue for the summer, go Black Anibis. Because for being a dry wood oud fragrance, there's a lot of grapefruit at the top. It's oddly fresh and versatile. So I think between those two, that's still the most wearable, best two men's fragrances from the house. I still think Black Anibis and Sphinx Elixir is the jam. Uh, but there's so much second tier that have wow factor, like like Horchata de Vigny, for example. Coconut daiquiris, all, both of these are great. Pistache, uh, Creme de pistache, you got to like dessert fragrances. If you like pistachio ice cream, you'll like that fragrance. Mm, those are bangers. I hope you enjoy them, Dan. Just got red tobacco. It's been a while since I had this. 
You get a strong soapy smell. Mmm. Mmm. Not with red tobacco. I don't. I'm kind of surprised you're saying that. Maybe for Boss Bottled Elixir. Oh, well, I mean, that's on my Instagram. For Fragrance Buy. Oh, yeah, same thing on my link tree. Like we just went through. Yeah. I mean, I can put in the chat. Makes it easy for you guys. I appreciate that. Because any support for the channel is greatly appreciated, guys. Trust me. I'm not made of money, but boy, I get a lot of requests to review stuff. <laughs> Every day. A ton of them. And it's like, damn. Like, y'all just think I'm... Sometimes I reply, I'm not made of money, man. You got to give me some time. The 78 is better. Are y'all talking... What do y'all mean, 78 and 82? Are y'all talking about regular versus exclusive? Because I don't know what y'all mean by 78 and 82. I really don't. I'm very lost on this. Grab a sample coconut daiquiri for sure. It's good. It's really good. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So I have a 78 then. Versus 82% newer batches. Yeah, I have a 78 then because mine's a 2020 bottle. I think so. Pretty sure it is. Vanilla Antique by Byredo is basically Club Black, but better, I bet, since it's Byredo. Two newer Latafa favorites by Gold and Black. Love them both so far. And the Byredo's 300. I smell of Vanilla Antique and thought, hmm, that's very familiar. It's almost one to one. Fusion Dissy. That's one of the Issies I was talking about earlier. Good to see you, Gary. That's a great coconut fragrance. The Extreme is even better. That this is obviously fresher, but I mean you can't go wrong with these. I have both. They're straight up certified cheapies. They're tropical. They're, they're sunscreen fragrances with depth. It's kind of how you can look at it. Lydia, good to see you. It's glad to see you pop in. Let me uh, grab this right here. So this is going to be Monday's stream. This is uh, honor and glory. Thanks to Lydia, the newest body out oud flanker from Latapa. She sent me a decant. Feels like a very sizable decant or multiple decants that are stacked, one of the two. But that's going to be Monday's stream. We're going to bust that open on Monday's live stream and give those a smell. So very excited to check that out. Good to see you. Darren Allen's Sacred Smoke. What do you think of Bad Boy Le Parfum? I don't remember what it smells like. The last time Randy sent me decants months and months ago, that was one of them, and I don't really remember it. You'd have to go look at the live stream to hear my thoughts. It, I only sprayed it that one time. Really enjoy my bottle. Oh, and scent of the day is nothing. One of those just made me so happy. I own the 175 ml bottle. Yeah, those the, some of those bottles are huge. I have the Eau Fraiche, L1212 Eau Fraiche. And I get asked all the time, what's the difference with Blanc Eau Fraiche and that? They're not the same fragrance. They're not. L1212 Eau Fraiche is not based off of the white bottle. It's its own fragrance. It's the lines Eau Fraiche, whereas L1212 Blanc Eau Fraiche is the Eau Fraiche flanker of Blanc. I know that sounds it can be confusing. I get it. So it doesn't have any of the white bottles of DNA. It's all about limoncello, minty aromatics and limoncello. So the reason I say that's because that's the 175 ml bottle I have in the line. I wore it not that long ago. I've talked about it recently. Getting ready to head out Cigar Lounge for some football night. Um, so that's one of the things I told the wife because I wanted to make sure I'm not doing content this weekend. I'm going to go to the gym. There's footballs on on a bunch of TVs. So I'm going to watch kickoff tomorrow. Both days. from the Actually, I'm taking a straight up full day off. I'm, I'm taking an actual rest day on Sunday. I'm going to be sitting on this couch watching football Sunday. But Saturday, I'll be I'm training back. And I'll start off my college football Saturday at the gym, but the rest of the day and no content this weekend. I'm literally going to have content done to Monday. I got a bunch of stuff to do today. I filmed a few already and I got a lot a lot, hours and hours more of stuff to do. I got shorts videos to do. I got editing to do. I have thumbnails to make. I have to upload. I still got the bulk of my work to do after this live stream. But point being, I'm looking forward to this weekend of some football. I'm planning on watching a bunch of games. Obviously, all the NFL games that I can. But as far as college, I plan on watching a lot of stuff, too. I'm going to watch the LSU game. I'm going to watch North Carolina's game. And God knows what else. Whatever's on TV, I'm going to have that on. I'm going to be hanging. I'm sure I'll be playing around on the computer here and there, too. 
I can't completely unplug from social media. Social media is what I do. But um, as far as making content, I don't plan outside of center of the day posts. I don't plan on making any content. So I'm excited for this weekend with some football showing. I'm right there with you, man. A knee for John Collins. Excellent. Tucker B. Florida looked like ass last night. At the same time, the same number. Jesus. On oh, any take on Tony Iomi. So we gave that away two months ago in the member live stream, but I didn't open it. And they had a couple guys that were like, hey, if I win it, I want you to open it and do a first impressions, which would have been in the member live stream, but I didn't open that bottle. That's the only time I've had my hands on it, was the one that was on the giveaway. So I haven't tried it yet. I've heard so much praise just from you guys about it. I just haven't tried it yet. I need to bite the bullet and get a bottle. So I haven't smelled regular Ambassador, but my understanding is basically Mango Sauvage. Ambassador Intense kind of falls somewhere in between Sauvage Elixir and Latafa Asad. It's very resinous, a lot of licorice and spice, uh, very ambery and warm, a little woodsy. Not as good as Sauvage Elixir, but better than Latafa Asad, you know, which is really good. But I, I just saw the Ambassador Intense really good. But I haven't, again, I haven't smelled Ambassador, but based on what I've heard about it, they don't really smell alike. Uh, Randy, I see Randy still in the chat. Oh, you sent me the, okay, I see on YouTube. You sent me the Extreme, not the Le Parfum. Okay, my bad. Yeah. So he sent me the Extreme. I haven't, I've never tried the Le Parfum. So I'm behind on the comments here, but I see the current comments over here on YouTube because I got YouTube literally right next to it. I got two windows open, but this is why I bought this giant ass monitor. So I can do everything on one monitor. <clears throat> but yeah, Randy could weigh in actually, Randy, if you don't mind, because Randy smelled both. Randy's who sent me carded samples of both. I just can't find the damn original ambassador, but the last couple of days I've been spraying the intense and because I ended up buying bottles of both. Hmm. Some of the day is going to be fan your flames high in Tennessee, 85. So I'm going to test it out in the heat. Uh, I'm an Ani guy. Ani is my favorite from the house. Fan your flames is a wow factor fragrance. That is special in my opinion. But if I had to just pick one, it's Ani. That amber vanilla is just so sexy. It's a beautiful scent. Noted. I know you're trying to be funny, but LSU beat the brakes off of Florida State. I hit somebody. Somebody hit me with a Go Knowles uh, today in my uh, my haul video on the other channel on TLTG Vlogs channel because I got some uh, LSU LSU gear, and uh, he hit me with a Go Knowles with some hatchet emojis because <laughs> I literally said any any fans of the Saints, LSU or the Braves, because that's the three teams I bought stuff for. I said hit me with a hoot out of Go Tigers. Or some hatchet emojis if you're a Braves fan. So he hit me with Gold Knowles, Go Knowles, and, and three hatchet emojis. So I thought it was funny because they're playing LSU. So I fully expect. So, funny thing, the guy I used to coach youth basketball with, shout out to Alonzo if you happen to see this, he posted South Alabama hat on the back of their helmets. They're playing Tulane, home of Mardi Gras. I said, one, that's bold because that's bullshit. South Alabama is not the home of Mardi Gras playing a New Orleans team and two two lanes a power team at this point and they're probably going to beat the, I don't know if they played last night or what I didn't I didn't check for an update but if they didn't already play and they're about to play this weekend two lanes probably going to beat the brakes off of South Alabama I'm not saying South Alabama is not good I don't really know much about the roster this year but I know two lanes roster is good and they're probably going to beat the shit out of them so good job antagonizing home of Mardi Gras Jesus can't wait for Monday. Me too. Me too. I'm pretty excited about what we're about to hit an hour. We'll hang out for a few more minutes and then we'll shut it down because this is going to be it for the weekend. No streams on the weekend. Got honor and glory on the way. I'm pretty excited to try it. She described it. Lydia described it to me as Ani meets Oud for Greatness meets Hachivat, I think was what she said. That just sounds interesting. Love and life and your new home. Oh, I love it here, Randy. I love it here, man. Super happy for you. Thank you, man. Yeah, we're, we're having a good old time. Uh, the wife's been a little sick, and then there's there's been riptides because of the, the storm, obviously. So uh, double red flags. It was red flags yesterday, but maybe, maybe be, would be able to go to the beach this weekend, but I'm worried about football. So maybe Wednesday, I think, will be the next beach day because we go to the beach either on Wednesdays, Saturdays, or both. It's kind of the routine we've done because based on my content schedule, 
I take Wednesday and the weekends off from doing content. I do content in the four days, and sometimes five days. Like I did content on Wednesday this week. Uh, and then um, the content schedule, while I have you guys, live streams are going to be different next week. I'm going to do Monday through Wednesday because Thursday my mom and my stepdad are coming for the weekend. So I'm not going to do a Thursday and Friday stream. So I'm going to do three streams in a row with you guys. I'm going to still do three streams. We'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then uh, no more streams till the following Monday. Because, you know, I don't want to say, all right, guys, y'all do something. I'm going live stream for an hour, hour and 15 minutes, you know, because my stepdad's coming in from offshore and he's coming to play golf and we're going to hit the beach and they're going to want to go eat and drink and do all this stuff. So while I have my parents, we're going to I'm gonna focus on them. You know, I'm still going to do my content and stuff like that. I'm still going to film my content. I'm going to have to make time for that. But the live streams are going to have to be pushed to the side, unfortunately. But I'm still going to like I said, I'm still going to do three streams. Where was I? I lost my place. Kenzo Ohm EDT Intense Beautiful Woodsy Fragrance. I'm liking it so far. Since you bad boy, actually, yeah, that's I read that comment already. How about a football stream? That would be on the other channel. That would be on the other channel. I've thought about maybe doing that. That would either be the TLTG podcast channel or on the TLTG vlogs channel. I wouldn't do that on here. So, I don't know. I'm open to it. If that's something you guys want to tune in and we'll chat about while the games are going, a few people want to do it. We'll, we could do it. You know, you just got to let me know. We, we Maybe we have to put it to a vote in a in a community post or something. I'd be open to it. It just wouldn't be on this channel. It'd be on one of the other channels. But I haven't really been doing much. I did a couple clips from live streams on the podcast channel. But the vlog channel would probably be ideal, I would think. So, I don't know. We can talk about it a little more. we got a lot of season to work with. We'll talk about it over the next week. Happy weekend to you as well. Lacoste Blanc Eau Fresh doesn't compare to any Lacoste it's very similar to Javante Gentleman, only casual chic. I've always wanted to try that one. Pickled ginger. Jumping in, wearing Burberry Hero EDT. Ooh, Issey Miyake Vetiver. Send the Knights Sun High School football game. It's going to be 1 million royal. Surprisingly fresh in the opening, right? I know there's citrus notes and everything, but when you smell it, like going into it, it's a 1 million fragrance. You're not expecting it to actually be fresh like that. And there's, the sweetness is there, but not as much. as dialed back greatly, and, a lot of, and I get a lot of the wood. Citrus and wood with the one million sweetness. It's not the best flanker, but I do think it's a nice addition to the line. It's not their best one million, but it's one of. I appreciate it quite a bit. Both the grip, they don't smell anything alike to my nose. Who that? That's what I'm talking about. Who that? Indeed. You know, so the intense and original, nothing alike. There's an echoed sentiment. They made the intense and Womo similar DNAs, but the original is more of a tropical sauvage, fresh all season while intense is like. It's like he said, there you go. Yeah, I'm actually quite excited about the original. Tropical, mango, the hand in hand. Sauvage, That's, that sounds great. That sounds great. I'm very excited. The Boz has arrived. Just ordered Triumph Bacchus Plus, Bacho Immortel, and Palace Athene samples. I hope you enjoy them, my man. I hope you enjoy them. I wonder if Prada will come out with an elixir. Hmm. You never know. You never know if they want to get on the trend. Well, Tulane alum. My brother graduated from Tulane. He got his master's, two masters from UC uh, UC Davis in California, but he got his bachelor's degree uh, from Tulane. So that's why I have Tulane hats and stuff. That's why I root for Tulane. My brother went to Tulane. So, yep, go Green Wave for sure. So you would know. Did they play South Alabama already? Because I saw that post and I was like, wow, they're going to beat the shit out of them. Happy Friday. Never heard of that one. Okay, so tomorrow. So tomorrow is when South Alabama is going to get the shit beat out of them because that was a mistake. They were already going to lose handily, I'm sure. Because like I said, the last couple of years, Tulane's been a power team, and their roster is pretty damn good again this year. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be bad. They, they shouldn't have antagonized. They're going to regret that. It's funny fodder for social media leading up to the game, but it's not fun when you're down five touchdowns, you know, in the third quarter. <clears throat> Cheers, Boz. Great sample choices. Can't wait to hear your reaction to them. Tulane facility is nice. Now that Cotton Bowl money. <laughs> Good. I remember playing Tulane twice in college. Of course, I won both times. 
Speaking of Tulane, we talked we talked about Matt Forte not that long ago when you asked me to compare my uh, collection to somebody, and I went with Matt Forte and brought up Tulane alone. You know, so it's funny how that worked out. We're definitely smoking FSU this weekend. Go Tigers! I sure hope so. I would think we would. I absolutely would think so. Um, I will be wearing that. For those of you that saw the hall video on the other channel, I will be wearing that short sleeve hoodie to the gym and that new hat I bought to train in. I will be wearing LSU gear at the gym. And then when I come home, I'm a shower and change into other LSU gear. If the game's still on, cause I'm gonna be, I leave the gym around 12 o'clock central, which is kickoff kickoffs at 12 central. So I should be okay, but I'm gonna start the day wearing LSU gear. Parents and family comes first. 10 4. Football stream on another channel sounds good. I mean, I'm open to it. It won't be this weekend, but and it probably won't be next weekend either because my parents will be here. But we could do it the rest of the season, though, is my point. We, we can talk about it further. Y'all want to do something for college? College football Saturday? Y'all want to do NFL Sunday? Because I don't want to do both. But I'm open to doing one. Or maybe we could rotate. Maybe one weekend we do college, the next weekend we do the NFL, and vice versa. I'm, I'm open to it down for football get together something where we talk fantasy football well, i mean definitely nfl sunday we'd be talking fantasy football and we'd have red zone on I, well i would have red zone on but i wouldn't be able to put it on screen because i wouldn't want to get demonetized go dogs there's a damn georgia fan what's going on matt Proud alone low worth getting if you have the original uh, it's redundant but it's i prefer it it is fresher it's not near as spicy that addition of ginger really adds a brightness to the top I per, that's my favorite version is Prada Lone Low. It is redundant if you have the original, though. It's not different enough. But if you're okay with just that subtle change, it's like one of my favorite designers for summer. Speaking of, I don't think I wore it this summer. Shame on me. I normally do. I like exclusively wear it in the summer. But it is it is redundant. But it's better. I think. I think it's better. I haven't tried it yet. Haven't tried it. I know EQ did a stream on it the other day. Argos fragrances are seriously good. You'll be able to smell the quality. Well, he's got Adonis Awakens. He, he, he got that one first. He's got a bottle. <clears throat> I've heard the through the grapevine, all there's in the realm of noir ombre mixed with Leighton, but who knows? I mean, that would be fair. I'm sure it's going to be good. Like I was saying in yesterday's stream, apart from Zamali doesn't put out bad fragrances. There, it's at least going to be very good. You know, and if it's a little similar to some other things, that's where people are going to be. Oh, it's underwhelming. It's not original. Blah, 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 blah. Anybody that says anything good's a shill. It's going to be all that shit. <laughs> Parfums de Marley's paying them. <laughs> Let's make a Monday night football stream a thing. I'm not going to say I'm not open to it. The problem is it would take away from Monday's regularly scheduled stream. I wouldn't do two streams. Whereas adding a weekend football stream, that does make sense. So Monday night football, hmm, that one I'm not quite as open to because of that because I'd still want to do my daytime stream, and I don't want to stream twice. So it'd be it'd be a Saturday or Sunday kind of thing. No Thursday night games either, you know, because that that's, would take away because Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is the regular scheduled streams. Love Lamar. Any other sense from the house? Yes, Masa. Watery, woody, earthy, green, spicy, beautiful, 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 beautiful fragrance. Uh, if you want niche Sauvage, basically, get Ferris. The lavender kind of, it, it kind of does smell like Sauvage, the lavender and the spices. But niche, <laughs> like I said, it's like the ultimate form in some ways. Because um, I understand where people compare it to Sauvage. I, I totally get it. And could y'all own the first one? Orange Blossom and Oud. Beautiful. Tonka Bean. Very, very unique. Gorgeous. Year-round unique. Oh, yeah, I was impressed. What I love to try so far. Tulane's a six-point favorite. That's it? South Alabama's better than I thought if they're only a six-point favorite. By the way, I've heard nothing but great things about the new Polo Oud. I'm, so, I'm super intrigued by that one. Holding off. For the rock stud noir, but I still want to try it. I'm probably going to blind buy that one, Randy, just like I did with Cologne Intense, just like I did with Elixir, just well, Club Elixir, and just like I did with Club Parfum. 
these Ralph Lauren flakes. Now I'm glad I didn't do that with Polo Red because I'd have been like, damn, it doesn't smell like Polo Red. Just we went through that. We did a stream together about it. It's good. I know you don't care for it. I like the absinthe and the iris. I know you're not an absinthe fan, but it's a good fragrance. It's just not a Polo Red fragrance, as I've said a thousand times at this point. But um, yeah, when it comes point being, when it comes to Polo, I mean, I'm confident enough in that to just buy it. Just like I did with Boss Bottle Elixir just now. I'm just buy it. If they sound good enough, if I'm pretty confident I'm going to really like it, I'll just buy it. I don't even need to sample it. Just screw it. Matt Forte was so underrated. I, I love Matt Forte. I've met Matt Forte, in fact. That's one of the reasons I bring this up. Long time ago. God, that's a long time ago. So we're about to shut it down. Hour and 10 minutes. We'll give it a few more minutes. Let me try to get caught up. Scroll down a little bit. I'm excited to see your thoughts on new Argos releases. I can't wait myself. So no Christian's hovering around the channel. Um, in the three best boozy fragrance sh shorts video that I did not that long ago, he put a couple of hearts because uh, Triumph of Bacchus is literally the thumbnail. So I sent him the link to yesterday's stream. I said, you know, Triumph of Bacchus is a lifer if you want to check this out. Um, so I know he's hovering around the channel. He might even be watching right now. But, yeah, I'm, I'm super Super eager, eager, super, super, super eager to try those. People keep asking me. I, I can't wait to tell you guys because I can't wait to try them myself because he does not put, I said it yesterday, he does not put out subpar. He does not put out mediocrity. He does not put out above average. He puts out great stuff, great or better. Call it bias, whatever. Smell his fragrances and then tell me I'm being biased. His fragrances are phenomenal. I'm really into Argos right now, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I hold the Argos house in high regard, man. Got the whole, the only one that's mediocre was poor. And that's what I said yesterday. The only one I could see anybody saying that about is the poor home because it's the most generic of the group. Bravito Della Caccia is such an earthy green leathery fragrance. It's uber masculine. Triumph of Bacchus is magical. Baccio Immortel, Immortel is basically like uh, a higher quality take on Tuscan leather in many ways. It's cleaner. Um, it's just magic. Donye, if you like Blonde Woods, I, I, it's hard to argue that there's any better. Uh, and then one of the best masculine rose fragrances I've ever smelled is Adonis Awakens. That was one of the best releases of last year. Top three release of 2022 across the board, not just niche. He puts out great stuff, guys. Great, great stuff. Good to see you, Joe. We're about to shut it down. We're just hanging out a few more minutes. Smoky, burn by the sun. Let's see. Got a sample of vanilla oud to see what the hype is about. I hope you enjoy it. Not everybody loves it, but most do. Most do. It's legit. I need to shave tonight. Getting scruffy. You'll notice by the weekly rotations, I shave like every four days. I'm not the shave every day type. You know, I don't have to have a you know a bare shave, three pass kind of thing. You know, I'm cool with the scruff. Gritty, gritty look. Still spent more than I should have. I'm waiting on Fragrance Buy to get in 100 mLs. Only if you get 30 mLs of Donis Wiggins, Donye, and Triumph. Matt Forte was definitely a problem for my Packers. Well, he was, he kind of helped really bring, I mean, Marshall Falk really made the difference with the pass catching running backs before, but he kind of took it to another level. He was the all purpose yard leader for years when he was in his younger, younger stint. With the Bears, he was the he, like for five years straight. He like led the league in all-purpose yards. He was a beast, absolute beast. Well, it was available now, just isn't on the brand website. No, I did not know that. I'm trying not to buy. I, I want to cool out till maybe uh, mid month because I'm about to spend a lot of money this week with my parents visiting because we're gonna go and do a lot of stuff. And I literally just bought a bunch of fragrances a couple of days ago again. <laughs> I'm so bad about that. Last restock. Yeah, I, I, I turn the notifications on on certain fragrances too. Channel with the new releases after they come out. Jenny will love those. Oh, we absolutely. Absolutely going to talk about them. Absolutely. I remember my freshman year against Tulane, I got blocked on the screen, got flipped, and all I seen was the ceiling after the rest of the game. Oud Satin, I did a review on it. It's very powdery. My wife thinks I smell like baby powder when I wear it. So 
be wary of that. If you don't like super powdery, it's super powdery. It does smell like a cheaper version of Oud Satin Mood. It's not even close in quality, but you do get that jammy rose, that woody smell, and it's mega powder. So keep that in mind. It's really good, but you got to like super powdery. Let's see. Absolutely. I appreciate that, Tucker. You have a great weekend as well. We'll go ahead and shut it. Let me try to get to the bottom. If you can, when you get the new Argo sin, you should do another whole house review. It's been a long time. I very well could. I'm gonna do I'm gonna dedicate it to just the new releases first, and then maybe we'll do a revisit. We sucks out of stock. Okay. Glenn, I, ha I haven't. I haven't, Glenn. Fragrance Buy has it in stock right now, actually. Um, maybe I need to grab that one. I blind buy a lot. My motto is I blind buy so you don't have to, you know, because I like to display the bottle and everything when I review. Um I do get a lot of decants too, but no, I haven't tried it. I, we looked at the notes on one of the split screen videos that I do with upcoming releases a while back. I don't remember the notes though, off the top of my head. I haven't tried it though. No ginger listed, but on my skin, that's what I get. And I love it. I can see where you're coming from. I can see where you're coming from with it. The sales. Time to get back to work. Have a great weekend. You as well, Randy. Thank you for stopping by, my man. So, yeah, up oh, we got to the bottom. So, on that note, we are heading out. We're shutting it down. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to everybody that gave Super Chats. I appreciate the great conversation. Happy NFL and NCAA football weekend for you football fans. Um, we I'll put out a poll at some point during the week, upcoming week about – if we should do a football stream on one of the days next weekend on the vlog channel. And then I'm also going to be putting out a poll for you members on what fragrances I should buy for this month's giveaway. So be on the lookout members of the, of the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing three prizes for the nine 99 and above tier again. And then we're going to be doing two prizes again um, for the $25 and above tier. The plan is to do two more. It depends on how many people renew, you know, if enough people renew, on the niche tier, we'll do two spins. Right now, I can guarantee one. We have more than enough to do the one because 12 is the minimum. We have way more than that. Well, not way more, but we have more than that, so we definitely do the one. To do the second one, it depends on how many of you renew because I don't want it to get to the point to where it's just overwhelmingly like it's a loss to do it too much, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. So I, I would say it's a 50% chance of a second spin for the niche tier. I would say it's 50-50 right now, but there's still three spins for the $9.99 and above tier. And then, of course, the $25 and above tier is eligible for those same three spins on top of your niche giveaway. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll put together some polls and let you guys vote on what we should do for the giveaways this month. And I'll have those out on Monday. So make sure to check out today's video. Surprisingly, it's an Abercrombie & Fitch find at the Rack Store. So it's a Rack Store video for those of you that haven't checked it out yet. Make sure to check that out. Like the stream before you head out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a great weekend.